here welcome back to my channel it's been such a long time since i've done a work outfits video and i know for a lot of you guys you're going back to work for spring and summertime or have messaged me saying that you guys got your first job and don't know what to wear for business casual congrats girl i'm here to show you my favorite workplace outfits that are appropriate for the office and more of like a business casual setting i want to thank my sponsor lily silk for sponsoring today's video if you don't know who they are they are the most professional online silk company with so many different silk products you have PJs, you have shirts, you have bottoms, you have skirts, you have dresses, you even have like bedding and pillowcases. I got a couple pieces from them and they feel so soft and luxurious. So what I really love about them is that they're zero waste and they're environmentally conscious. So they limit waste by using all the leftover fabric for scrunchies and like eye masks. And because the material is silk, they're made from natural fibers instead of synthetic. So I used to think like silk is silk, right? Like I thought all silk is created equal, but they're not. So Lily Silk is sourced from mulberry trees, which is 100% premium natural material. It's clean, it's toxin free, it's innovative. They even have a silk range with elasticity, which is kind of unheard of in this silk industry. I was so curious about the brand because they've worked with celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow and Nina DeRev and Megan Trainer. So excited to try that and let you know what I think. Okay, so before we get into the actual work outfits, I just wanted to start off with a super crucial, important step of getting dressed for work and that is your bra. What you're wearing on the inside throughout the entire work day can make you either super duper uncomfortable or it can make you feel like you're not wearing anything at all. And these silk bras are it. I got a nude one and a black one and they're so this most comfortable feeling bras I have ever worn. They have no wires, no clasps at the back, nothing metal, and super duper stretchy. They have the fit and feel of a bralette while still having detachable bra pads that provide that support for you all day long. And I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything at all. And the best part is the silk is blended with spandex to help you move freely throughout the day. So we are starting off with a super classy Timeless, aka you can never ever go wrong with a white dress shirt. This one's from Lily Silk. It's made with 100% mulberry silk. It just feels so luxurious against my skin. It is the perfect white pearl color with a silk sheen on the outside. And the best part about this, you guys, it is not see-through. Throwing this shirt right on top of this nude bra over here and you can totally see there's no need for any sort of like inner cami. A lot of the soft white dress shirt material out there is are kind of see-through and this one isn't. Buy all the links to what I'm wearing in the description box down below. This one I'm wearing the size small. I love the length of the sleeves. It's not an awkward length that cuts off right above my wrist. The fit is very classy. It's not too boxy which can seem kind of unprofessional and it's not too skin tight either. It's just like the most luxurious basic of the basic that you need to own when it comes to work outfits. So I'm just tucking it into a high-waisted pair of trousers. These trousers are like my closet staple when it comes to anything semi-professional and I love how it's a relaxed straight leg that is kind of long and the only pair of trousers that actually fit my height. You can also throw in a blazer for good measure. I just think it adds that kind of texture and like outer layer to your look so you're not super duper monochrome. And because we're still in springtime where it might get kind of like dark, kind of rainy and like maybe cold and wet, I'm going for these faux leather pair of boots hugs my feet and just make it feel like I'm not wearing heels at all. For those of you who work in a more casual setting or if this is casual Fridays and you're able to wear jeans, I love to pair my jeans with an oversized shirt. I feel like with an oversized shirt, you instantly make your outfit look a little bit more trendy. Definitely feel like more workplace should adopt this type of casual work wear, more for like everyday wear. This oversized shirt is Lily Silk's extension of their white, more professional selling shirt. This one is what I wore for the first outfit and it's definitely more of a classic cut. It's not too baggy, it's not too oversized, and it's definitely on a more professional workplace scale than this one. However, I feel like this oversized shirt can be dressed up and down. There's more options to play around with it. You can wear it with a blazer, you can wear it open all the way, you can wear it half buttoned up and just tucked into your jeans. So yes, thing, do you guys like more of an oversized a relaxed fit or do you guys like more of like a classic straight cut fit? So going for these cropped jeans, these jeans are also a closet staple because they have no rips in them, no holes, which is perfect for the office. And then I'm just going with these ankle high sock booties that I've talked about again and again and again. They are the perfect workplace shoe just because their heel is so easy to walk in. They literally go with all kinds of bottoms, like mini skirts, maxi skirts, like long pants, and they're so comfy. This entire part here is made of fat. Fabric. 
Okay, so the next outfit features this darker palette silk shirt. It's also from Lily Silk. And again, it feels super comfortable and smooth and cooling and luxurious on my skin. And this dress shirt comes with these two straps at the collar area. And you can choose to tie it like this. Or if this is a little bit long for you, you can also tie into a bow tie, which instantly gives your outfit that feminine perspective. I also find this color pairs beautifully with a cream color or an off-white color as the bottom. So here I'm styling it with a pair of high-waisted faux leather white cream pants. And I feel like faux leather pants often gets overlooked when it comes to workplace pants. But these cream ones actually don't look like they're faux leather but it does have the structure of a faux leather pants so when i'm wearing this i feel kind of girl bossy kind of like badass in the office you know what i mean they can definitely be dressed up or down girly girls out there i did not forget about you so another way to style this dress shirt is to pair it with this beautiful lace white skirt we're gonna see more skirts as we're heading back into the office the skirt is the perfect length it goes down past your knees and it's not super lacy in like kind of like a sexual way it's just a way to bring subtle pattern to your outfit without being too overbearing okay let me know in the comments down below which outfit you prefer more with this top do you like the pants version more or the skirt version more this next outfit is for workplaces and offices with more of a casual vibe or like a business casual vibe or if the management and HR in your office is not entirely anal, this is what you can wear starting off with this black sleeveless bodysuit in case you're working in a place that don't allow you to show your shoulders blazers is the way to go you guys so when I used to work in a corporate environment I used to keep about two or three blazers just hanging out by my cubicle and I never take them home because those blazers literally go with every single outfit I'm wearing every single day they're just so classic so timeless and so good to have that I don't need to spend extra brain cells in the morning time trying to decide what bottom goes with what blazer this is a black one that I have and I try to keep like a neutral one that this one and also a patterned one like a check one they just like instantly transform your whole look from casual right away to business casual my advice is to go for blazers with shoulder pads that way your entire outfit look more structured and more sophisticated and more put together than something that's more relaxed or has like slouchiness to it okay guys, this next look is one of my favorites it's what i call my full glam work outfit because now we're in the springtime i just feel like i need to feature something with florals on it and this blouse is so so unique looking it's so pretty in real life and i promise you it's not as sheer as it looks once you put it on if you're scared of breaking the dress code with how sheer this blouse is then always always make sure to put on the cami under or even like a white t-shirt under or even like white long sleeve under definitely a great choice for a top if you're bored of all the white dressers out there and you know just like perks up your mood when you're wearing it I paired this top with a black long pencil skirt just make sure that your pencil skirt is not too tight otherwise you'll risk co-workers calling you out for trying to like sleep with boss or something like that not a true story okay it did not happen to me personally also go for one that is double lined on the inside so the material is thicker and you're more comfortable in it as for footwear i went with my dior sling bags but i think any sort of like black flats would do again this depends very much on the nature of your job <gasps> this look could also be great if you're trying to like seduce your crush who works at the office last outfit i want to talk about this good old blue and white striped shirt this kind of color scheme and pattern is something that is traditionally more seen in menswear in the work place but you know what guys it's 2022 okay so i'm a big believer in whatever the guys can do girls can do even better so that includes fashion i'm seeing a lot of modern women's workwear being inspired by menswear plus i always feel so much more confident and badass whenever i rock like a menswear inspired thing and i like i wear it better than guys you know this is a ralph lauren piece and i'm also a big fan of draping these sort of sweaters over this gives it that relaxed and casual vibe and if the sleeves are too baggy in this one i like to also just roll it up like this show a little bit of forearm and then paired with these high-waisted gray pants it just makes you look super serious but casual but professional but like trendy and i'm also a huge fan of clothing pieces that can be dressed up or down so it's more multi-use and you're not just spending like all your money on one item that can only be worn once okay guys that is it for this workwear video if you haven't seen enough work outfits in this video and you want more outfit inspo on what to wear to work check out these videos right here i have tons of lookbook tons of great ideas for the workplace also leave me a comment down below what your dress code is like in your office or if you're like oh my god i can never wear what karina is wearing that's great always happy to hear from you guys i love you all and i'll see you in my next video bye Lily's little 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 little